we're moving today. We're headed from Abood, Bali to Chenggu. And we're gonna spend two weeks in Chenggu, which I'm very, very, very excited about. All the research on traveling to Bali, Chenggu just has a weird way of finding its finding its way into your life, and it's I don't know. It I'm excited about. It. it doesn't have the best beaches. It doesn't have the best views. It doesn't have the best of anything. But it's got an environment full of digital nomads and people who I followed and paid attention to great content they all kind of say that's their home and uh, I like to I like to get around energy and the energy for me in Bali Indonesia I have this weird feeling it's gonna be in Canggu Abud was absolutely amazing but it's way more laid back I like crazy I like chaos I like to be stressed out every once in a while so this is our this is our journey from Abud to Chenggu today. We ready to go? Officially, officially checked out of the hotel. We uh, always makes me nervous when you uh, when they go. Oh, just pay at the end. Charge when uh, you know, just charge it to the room and dude rolls out a bill of two million two hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars in seven days. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's an incredible amount of money. And then Caitlin pinches me and says it's only 145 bucks. <laughs> and we ate probably at least one meal at the hotel every day. Sometimes two, sometimes three, plus beers and on, wine and cocktails and that kind of yeah. such. So we're gonna go have our last meal here at the uh, at the resort that we're staying at. We're gonna hop in a grab and head to beautiful Chenggu. Where it's busy. Where it's busy. <laughs> That's what we keep on here. Let's get it. Popping bottles nightly. Yeah, we're dancing slightly. This space has got me icy, 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 icy. Whoa, popping bottles nightly. Yeah, we're dancing slightly. This space has got me icy, 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 icy. Let's get it. Kinda. I think we made it. We made it, right? Yeah? We're good? So, can we? Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. What? Um, okay. Wild adventure with uh, Caitlin and JC. Oh gosh. What do you think, bud? What a. So, this is the price from the booking. Oh! What's your name? Uh, six million. Years. Sorry? Chase. 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 Nice to meet you, Chase. You wanna go in swimming? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's alright. Now we're here in beautiful Chenggu. We just checked into our uh, our our homestay. Um, beautiful penthouse suite. Chase has got his own bedroom, which is exciting. Uh, we got a huge balcony. Uh, the bathroom looks pretty good. Um, it's not the nicest place we've stayed in so far. 
but it's definitely not the worst. For the price and the location, I feel like it might be a win, but we have a couple weeks to determine that. <laughs> it, so when we initially booked it, we wanted somewhere kind of in the heart of Chenggu, um, but then also close enough to the beach and then also close enough to, you know, shops and restaurants and cafes and places where I can work. And it just seems like uh, this was the best bet for the money. Um, we paid uh, 6 million 300 uh, rupees, which comes out to about 400 bucks for two weeks, um, which is which is definitely you, I, we could have gotten something a lot cheaper. Um, but we could definitely have spent like 400 to 800 dollars a night if we wanted to. It just we we kind of enjoy these uh, these homestays. And uh, I don't know. It seems like it's worth it. But you want? Do you want a tour? Do you want a tour? Let's give you a tour of the actual homestay. Okay. So this, this everybody, this is the balcony. This is where all the magic happens. We get to watch a beautiful villa being built in present day. Pretty cool. You might want to say hi to our neighbors. Hi. Um, but the coolest thing, you can see the ocean. Nope, that's a building. Oh, nope, that's land. I don't know where the ocean is. I think it's over there. But uh, yeah, so this is our beautiful balcony. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. And then, uh, let's see here. I'm such a bad filmmaker. I guess. All right, this is the bedroom. This is where uh, the magic happens. So we're jumping on the bed. Chase, can we get a can we get a jump on the bed rating? Okay. All right. Let's see. Looks pretty good. How's the bounce rating? Okay. Let's go into the the bathroom. Oh yeah, this is this is a place where. You know, they installed another water faucet in the toilet area. Look, you fill up your water bottle while taking a poop. Pretty good, good view. You wanna turn around while you poop? Good to see the, uh, the rice terraces. And then let's head, to, uh, let's head to Chase's bedroom. Chase, you wanna show us your bedroom? Yeah. Wow, definitely could use some new paint. How's the bed? It's good? Oh. Tempur-Pedic, nice. It'll do, it'll do for two weeks. The one thing I will say is uh, what I've learned the most, adventuring out into a foreign country in a place where it's relatively hot is that you can always appreciate their conditioning. And every place we've had, we've stayed in so far, <laughs> yeah, we got night lights. Has had good air conditioning, which is which is a blessing because it is really hot out there. Um, but uh, yeah, all right. I think we're gonna go explore. All right. Enjoying a little sunset walk, uh, checking out the surfers and the rest of the people, doing backflips, playing soccer. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. It's a little, it's unlike anything we've seen so far here in Bali. There's uh, just a lot more people and a lot more people having cocktails and enjoying themselves, which is, which is fun.